This is a Spoken Arts presentation. Plesiosaurus. The sun sparkled on the waves, and the surf crashed on the beach. A cool breeze rippled the surface of the warm, sun-drenched sea. Suddenly, a long neck rose up from the water. On top of the snake-like neck was a small head. Plesiosaurus had come to lay her eggs. Plesiosaurus eyed the broad beach carefully. There was often danger on the beach. Plesiosaurus could only see a group of Cetiosaurus and Pelorosaurus on the beach. Such plant-eating dinosaurs were no danger to Plesiosaurus. So she began to lumber up onto the beach. Plesiosaurus used her strong flippers to drag herself over the sand. She was not very agile and was always clumsy on land. Plesiosaurus lumbered over the warm sand. The sun quickly dried her skin. When Plesiosaurus was above the high tide mark, she began to dig. She knew that her eggs would be safest if she buried them in the sand. Hunting animals would be less likely to find them, and the sand would help to keep them warm. Plesiosaurus worked busily with her front flippers. Her flippers were really built for swimming, not for digging. After a time, she had dug a hole which was deep enough. Plesiosaurus turned around and began to lay her eggs. The sand near to Plesiosaurus suddenly began to move. There was something under the sand trying to get out. As Plesiosaurus watched, a small head broke the surface of the sand. Then another head appeared. The heads were followed by tiny plesiosaurus. They belonged to the eggs of another plesiosaurus, which had laid her eggs on the beach a few weeks earlier. Soon there were dozens of baby plesiosaurus on the beach. They all began to crawl towards the ocean. Then, from out of the sky, a rampharynchus swooped down. It grabbed a baby plesiosaurus in its jaws and flew off. Other rampharynchus arrived and began to eat the babies. From the forest, a Tyrannosaurus appeared and dashed across the beach. Soon it too was gobbling up the babies. Eventually, about half the babies reached the safety of the sea. When Plesiosaurus's eggs hatched, her young would have to face the same dangerous journey to the sea. Plesiosaurus finished laying her eggs. She used her hind flippers to cover the eggs with the warm sand. She had only just finished when a terrible roar boomed across the beach. Looking round in alarm, Plesiosaurus saw a pair of megalosaurs at the edge of the forest. The fierce meat eaters had seen Plesiosaurus. They began to run towards her. Plesiosaurus knew what would happen if these dinosaurs caught her. Her life was in danger. Plesiosaurus dragged herself across the beach as fast as she could. She knew that if she could reach the water, she would be safe. All the time, the ferocious hunters were catching up with Plesiosaurus. She was very frightened. The pounding feet of the bellowing megalosaurs were close behind. At last, Plesiosaurus reached the water. She swam off, leaving the hunters on the shore. Plesiosaurus was glad to be back in the water. This was where she felt at home. The waves lapped over her body as she paddled out to sea. With strong, even strokes, Plesiosaurus moved across the water surface. Now that she had laid her eggs, Plesiosaurus realized that she was hungry. With her head held high, 
Plesiosaurus could see a large area of ocean. A sudden flash of silver caught Plesiosaurus's eye. There was a school of fish just beneath the surface. Plesiosaurus gently paddled towards the fish. When she was close enough, Plesiosaurus darted her head forward. Her jaws plunged into the water and emerged with a fish. Plesiosaurus quickly gobbled down the fish. Then her head struck out again, and she caught another fish. Suddenly, Plesiosaurus realized that there were some creatures beneath her that were not fish. They looked like fish, but they were far larger. Then two of the creatures burst out of the water. They were ichthyosaurs. Just beneath the surface of the sea, the ichthyosaurs dashed to and fro, snapping up the fish as fast as they could. Before long, the fish had scattered in all directions. The ichthyosaurus moved on in search of more fish. Plesiosaurus was still hungry. She also would have to find more food. The waves on the ocean were becoming larger and the wind was getting stronger. After a while, Plesiosaurus was having to paddle up and down the waves because they were so large. Plesiosaurus was still looking for food, but she could not find any more fish. As Plesiosaurus looked around, a gigantic head burst through the water. The great jaws were filled with teeth and were almost half the size of Plesiosaurus's entire body. Plesiosaurus was frightened and began to swim off as fast as she could. The giant beast was a pliosaur. Plesiosaurus knew that the newcomer was no real danger to her. All this time the dark clouds had been gathering and the waves had been getting larger and stronger. A storm was brewing. In a very short time, dark clouds had covered the entire sky and the wind had become a screaming gale. Waves towered over Plesiosaurus as she struggled to stay upright. One particular wave came crashing down on top of Plesiosaurus. Great weight of water entirely covered Plesiosaurus. Under the water, Plesiosaurus could not breathe and she tried desperately to reach the surface again. Eventually, she was able to take a breath of air. High above Plesiosaurus, lightning flashed from cloud to cloud. Thunder rumbled out across the sky. Plesiosaurus was very frightened indeed. The gigantic waves continued to lash against her, and the wind howled. After many hours, the wind became weaker. The huge dark clouds drifted away, and the sky was clear again. Soon the waves were smaller. The sea was almost calm. Plesiosaurus was able to swim without any difficulty. She sighted a school of fish and swam over to them. As her head dipped into the water to grab a fish, another animal flashed by. The fish were being hunted by a Mitriorhynchus as well as by Plesiosaurus. The Mitriorhynchus took a few fish and then swam on. Plesiosaurus was left alone on the wide open sea. After a while, she began eating fish again. She would have to build up her strength after fighting the terrible storms.